pop over my inbox and it looks like supreme have got a new collaboration with sawarski and vans coming out tomorrow tomorrow or at the time of recording it should be on a thursday when you and eventually hear this but it looks like vans and supreme have linked up and they've added a little bit of sawarski crystals on the uppers of these vans and they look pretty fantastic so it's a courtesy of supreme to so follow supreme sawarski vans this for supreme will release a new version of the Vans Old School. The shoe features a premium suede and canvas upper with Swarovski crystal studded pattern, leather lining, insole, vulcanized waffle outsole and embroidered logo on the heel. Have I ever said to you many times on the show already that I really, really like Supreme's product descriptions? I think they have some of the best product descriptions on the market right now, without doubt. The detail they go into things, the fact that they flip and break down the components and the features of every item they put down, basically makes you feel like you're already you know you're already clued in or clued up even though you have absolutely no knowledge of what you're wearing and you're only wearing it because you're so fucking tired of creator wearing it back in the day it still gives you some sort of false sense of knowledge or information or intelligence that you clearly don't have so i love it i love that they're doing it for the kids so big up to prima sawalski for that it'll be available on october the 20th and available in japan november the 19th so quite as soon after right now it's quite it's like nearly a month after it's going to be released out in Japan. I'm not really too sure why that is, actually. There's a little asterisk there as to why, but you can't actually click on anything. I don't know why that is. It's releasing so late in Japan, but either way, the vans themselves are absolutely incredible looking. And I'm also liking the fact that in these lookbook pictures they take, these sort of lifestyle pictures, they clearly give it to guys in a team who are part of the Supreme family who actually wear them day to day. And then they take a picture of them after. I'm not sure if that's a wear test or that's part of the shoot, but I love that the fact that the shoes actually look a bit worn in. They kind of, you know, are worn in a style that matches whoever's wearing it so you can see them worn in different ways. And they just have that you know they don't have that kind of plastic sort of like sterile kind of like on the white table in the white cube kind of feel that most sort of product shots have i really do appreciate it like that from there i'm not going to lie i'm not going to lie in the slightest so it's a picture of the old school in purple one of my favorite colors i think the purple and the red so far i've seen are my favorites and if you zoom into the actual upper on this kind of pattern which you usually have this sort of checkered board supreme classic pattern on the checkered board they've got all these little Sawatsky crystals um kind of started on there now Sawatsky crystals i'm guessing you know not all crystals are created equal and a crystal isn't a diamond but still that Sawatsky clarity that shine that sparkle on the upper just gives a really basic shoe that you would obviously wear because you've got nothing else in your wardrobe because they're the most comfortable shoes in your wardrobe to wear it gives them a little bit more of a sparkle and a shine the what for one thing I want to know: Do people exist out there who wear Vans like they wear like Air Force Ones, or like they wear UGGs? Because when I used to wear Vans, especially old schools, especially skate highs, especially half cabs, um, especially Rowleys and stuff, I never found them comfortable. They just looked really good, but they were never shoes that you would wear. Saying, "Oh yeah, I'm going to wear this when I go to Paris and I'm going to walk around the whole city." You don't really do that. You wear you wear them because they look good and because they match your outfit in a way or they complement what you're wearing. But you don't wear them under the you know under the fucking illusion that they're somehow hoka oneones or something or they're um what are those shoes that everyone's wearing now those cloud shoes or whatever they're called. I don't know what they are, but they're not a running shoe. They're not a really you know soft sole shoe you feel every single you know street fucking crevice and crack as you're walking down a pavement but i'm sure that some people out there that exist who actually wear vans day to day and they make me feel like slippers to them if that's the fact please let me know in the chat i would love to know or sorry in the comments down below if that's the case because i can't ever picture myself wearing a pair of vans like you know people wear flipping air force ones or really soft shoes like crocs and stuff it doesn't make any sense to me but the, yeah, the purple and reds look fantastic here. Really, really well done. Um, obviously, the red, you know, the contrast of that guy wearing the indigo jeans as well, obviously look really nice. The browns look fairly decent also. They kind of remind me a little bit of the jowned vans that he did a while back ago. I think they were brown and green, two different colorways. But for me, the purple and the red are definitely the standout colors in this going together. But it's just interesting that they dropped these like one day before they're actually meant to be dropped like you know what i mean there's no kind of um news beforehand i didn't really see any leaks about it and they're just going to drop it one day after announcing it this kind of feels like the old supreme is coming back again i wonder if this is something that tremaine's doing 
going forward with the with the van stuff or with the clothing in general maybe this is an implementation you put together where maybe with footwear collaborations especially when it's stuff like you know stuff that you know they're going to do every season like a vans or a nike collab instead of putting it out ahead of time they're just going to drop it one day ahead and then that's it and it's going to drop the next day so it's going to feel like an old school release in a little bit maybe that's the thing because in a roundabout way i've not seen these leaks but usually most supreme footwear things leak anyway especially the nikes right we've got an idea of what the nikes are going to be those like air maxes that came that we saw in all white leaked in a few pages they're most likely going to come out soon and you know they're going to probably come in different colors but they usually do that often do you know what i mean like when it comes to supreme like pe people always end up leaking images of what they do in terms of footwear but it's quite nice that we've got a kind of an old school approach with these and they're sort of like dropping the next day the black and whites actually pair are quite nice because that's, that's a classic vans old school colorway with the checkerboard on there and you're used to probably seeing this sort of you know makeup um you know displayed on the com de garçon you know vans that they put together and whatever it may be but i like this sort of little upgrade that they've done with these they look really really good i'm not going to lie i'm actually a big fan of these in the black and white but you know as per usual when it comes to you sort of collaborations with me i tend to not go for the oh it's a little detail too that makes it's the details for me that makes sense and that really puts supreme above all other streetwear brands you remember i mentioned ages ago in this pod that i've got a real kind of bee in my bonnet about stores um and about you know sites that cover some news concerning sneakers and streetwear how they have a tendency to not relace the shoes a big sort of culprit for it is actually nike themselves nike themselves will just take the shoe from the factory floor and just take a picture of it they won't relace it to make it look good or to you know to kind of compliment the shoe nothing it'll just be like laced horribly how it comes straight out from the factory but look what supreme have done they've done the lace system that i like to do or that most sneakerheads like to do if you're really about that life where the laces on the left hand shoe the lace goes over on that side and then on the right hand shoe it goes on it goes over do you get what i mean if you can get what i mean kind of like it kind of goes like in that kind of v shape but the lace that goes to to your left on the left hand side of the shoe will go on the top and the lace that goes to your right will go on the right hand side it's a tiny little thing that only the most tismed induced um you know anal person that cares about the stuff would, would care about but i clearly see it you know same way i see this little sparkle here and clearly it's something that they pay attention to and i think that really is what separates them from all the other brands these little things that they care about and these little things that they pay attention to but i really like those and then i think there's the next picture that shows the entire collection all together with all the other colorways and obviously they got this and there's another good touch too the embroidered supreme um, logo on the back of the heel is also a really nice touch because if you have if you're like me it doesn't matter if it's a collaboration or whatever you're gonna wear your your van shoes into the ground i know i've done with previous iterations of supreme vans the best thing about them especially you know because they usually end up reselling for a lot if you want to really flex on people and give them a heart attack it's the way these into the ground play football with them skating them go to raves in them and muck around in them and people will be like looking at you my god i can't believe you but it doesn't really matter so the fact that they've got the logo embroidered on the back of the heel it kind of adds to the longevity of the shoe because usually if it's screen printed or it's whatever else they put they do when they heat press it or it's a vinyl application those things can fall off rather quickly and then you know you're left with nothing but i'm assuming once you wear this in the crystals will probably fall off all over the place this will probably get all muddy and beat up it will end up looking far better because people will be able to see these little tiny hits of crystals where which ones are left you know shining off of your shoe that'd be pretty insane to see um so yeah, i'm a big fan of these and it also kind of harkens back to the golden era of sneaker culture in it right back in the day when people used to get air force ones and turn the, the swoosh into a gucci print put crystals on it paint it all that sort of good stuff so it's nice to see this kind of application but yeah the brands are quite nice but for me the two colorways i'd get is because you're probably not going to get the same sort of makeup in these colorways will definitely be the purples and the red though two in the middle are definitely ones that i kind of stand out to me in this regard but i do like them all i do like them all so big up supreme when they come out get them if you can if not you're going to be crying if not you're going to be 